What's up, everyone? I just got done watching the movie A Million Ways to Die in the West. Hilarious movie. If you haven't watched it, definitely check it out. Also, make sure to stay tuned till the end of this video here because I made a list of my own of everything that they mentioned within the video itself of ways to die in the West. Seeing, well, it's the movie's called uh, A Million Ways to Die in the West, so. I wanted to see how many they actually mentioned within the video itself, so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'm gonna uh, read off my list that I made that I caught within the movie, yeah. So this movie is basically about Albert, he's the main character, he's a sheep farmer and he has this girlfriend at the beginning of the movie, he, she's breaking up with him and oh he's doing everything for him, codependent type relationship. And, she doesn't want nothing to do with them because, oh, she's got to work on herself type thing. Yeah, bullshit type thing, whatever. So, he's all upset about that and wants to win her back and he ends up going and drinking at the saloon and his best friend has a girlfriend that's a hooker. That's kind of weird, funny, yeah, I guess. And then she won't have sex with him because they're both Christians and well, she's a whore. Okay, I'm not judging. So, there's a point where this bar fight breaks out and Albert ends up uh, meeting up with this one chick because he pushes her out of the way of danger and then he ends up uh, asking her out on a date at the fair. And that's where, where was it? Uh, no, I think she actually brought it up and then he went decided yeah that's a good idea type thing so at the fair he wanted to injure and embarrass uh, not embarrass okay. he wanted to make his old girlfriend jealous because of his new hot girlfriend and ends up uh, challenging his old girlfriend's new boyfriend into a duel and that duel itself is pretty hilarious full of shits and giggles it's an inside joke for the movie itself. But he ends up challenging the new boyfriend to a duel and then he gets all uh, learning how to shoot guns and everything like that and ends up cowarding out of the duel and the, everyone in town is calling him a coward. And he's like, yeah, whatever, thank you, type of thing. Not really giving a shit about whatever they're talking about. So in all reality, the uh, Anna is his new girlfriend, and uh, he she never tells him that she's married. And then the husband finds out, and they have to go and do a duel type thing too, and which is uh, pretty entertaining. Yeah, really, really cool. And oh, did I mention that this is all like uh, a western type movie that's kind of like a modern day twist type thing? In all reality, it's a, it's a really good movie. I would not recommend it for young children if they do watch it, you know, you have to supervise them. There's a lot of funny moments in it. Um, I think the part I enjoyed most was uh, with the part with Dr. Brown from Back to the Future where he's working on the DeLorean and Albert's walking past and there's a bunch of lights coming out of the barn and he opens the barn door and he's like, what's that? And Doc Brown's like, uh, it's nothing. It's a weather experiment. Great Scott! That was pretty entertaining. I really liked that part, but it seemed like it was, I don't know, kind of pushed in there, forced in there, because it's a modern type Western that they just wanted to give it a twist, a comedy Western. If they had more involvement with Dr. Brown or maybe even brought in Michael J. Fox at the beginning of the movie they were talking about Parkinson's disease and if Mark Michael J. Fox walk, walked past and he's like hey what's up as uh, Marty F McFly then I think that would have been pretty awesome or showing the DeLorean pushed along the train tracks to shoot back to 1985 that would have been pretty cool and I read some stuff on the line about uh, Dr. Brown's uh, involvement in the movie was kind of not needed because this movie was based in uh, 1882 and Back to the Future they went to 1885. My thoughts on that, it's a time machine, you know, why not type thing. 
Of course, yeah, they did destroy the time machine uh, after they went back to 1985, but maybe this was taking place, you know, beforehand when the DeLorean broke down before and then Marty McFly found it in the cave, you know. There's kind of that twist on things right there too. That's kind of the way I look at it. Or he could have made a whole nother DeLorean time machine and went back to 1882. Who knows, you know. There, it's, it's a time machine. That's the way they were tying it into the old movie. Yeah, we all get that. So, that I, 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 I did enjoy it. It was funny. It was funny seeing Dr. Brown in the movie. I think another funny part was where the dude got squished, his head got crushed, uh, carrying a block of ice. That was pretty good. Uh, sheep on the roof was pretty good. Smiling in a picture where they're like, oh, nobody smiles in a picture. They must be insane if they do that. And you're just thinking, uh, oh, okay, yeah. And they actually show a picture of a dude smiling. Oh, wow, that takes at least 30 seconds for a picture to be taken. It's like, mm, it's possible, you know? It's not like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ruth won't have sex with her boyfriend, which is Ed, Edward's, uh, Edward, which is Albert's uh, best friend, because they're both Christians. That's kind of okay. Bar fight. Get in the position. We're all having our, we're having our own fight right here. Nobody come over. It's more violent than yours. That was entertaining. Uh, the gay guys in the uh, bar, that was kind of funny where Albert's saying, I'm gonna move to Chicago, and Edward gives uh, Albert his lucky handkerchief, and it's with the semen that's on uh, Ruth's face that he just wiped off. It's like, oh, it's sticky. And then the gay guys are like, hello there. Look, I just found the locals. They're very nice. Actually, that kind of sounded more Mexican than gay. Which proves I'm not gay. <laughs> so, uh, sheep on the house, that was pretty entertaining, I guess. And uh, the part where he's in the uh, vision, where he's in the drug circle of the Indians, and he knocks over the midgets' horses with a bicycle. That was pretty funny, too. Well, midgets, period, are funny. Have you ever watched The Wizard of Oz? I mean, come on, people. So let's get down to nitty gritty swearing. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of stuff here. Fuck is used the most. Uh, shit's the second used. It looks like uh, God is the next one. Ass. And then there's also bitch, hell, Jesus Christ, uh, penis, and douche. Drugs. The only reference or showing of drugs in the movie is uh, Pot Cookie, where he's talking about uh, prairie dogs being able to read his mind. That's that's funny. It's I, it's just the whole movie is kind of dry humor, but it is entertaining for that fact there. And uh, Indian Drug Circle is the other uh, drug thing in the movie too. Nudity, not really much to worry about there. Uh, Daisy and an asshole, sheep penis, uh, kicking a buzzard's ball, the beginning of the movie, uh, shadow blowjob, and then whorehouse, which there's not much nudity there other than the fact that it's a whorehouse. They kind of talk about sex throughout the movie too. Oh, do we got anything else to cover? Yeah, uh, violence and gore, uh, many duels, gun shootouts, uh, Albert gets thrown out a window, old man robbed and killed, uh, the dude killed by the ice brick James Adam, Adams, Adamson, uh, and then bar fight. So that's about that. it there. Let's uh, get to my list of uh, a million ways to die in the West that they brought up in the movie. So. First one, they, I, I'm kind of just going from the beginning of the movie to the end that I caught from um, the movie. So they mentioned starvation, disease, hanging, shootings, wild animals, uh, killed by Indians, outlaws, angry drunk people, scoring hookers, 
uh, hungry animals, minor injury, major inner, the, the injuries, blah, blah, blah. Weather, rattlesnakes, cholera, the black shit, uh, killed by doctors, what, what's that one? Uh, killed by duels, I thought it said devil. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta improve on my handwriting. Uh, inhaling poisonous gases in a mine, miners dying from their old forest. That part right there was really hilarious. He stands up, <laughs> then he's gone. Then he's gone. Uh, where was I? Uh, injured by crook and duel for gold. Oh, oh, murdered. See, I can't even read, read my own handwriting. Murdered by a crook in Rule for Gold. That's uh, Anna's husband there. Um, killed by lack of eyes. Killed by taking pictures at the fair where they take a picture that catches the picture taker, the photographer, I, I guess is the proper word to say. Catches the photographer on fire and then also catches the people on fire and they get shot. Where was I? Knife fight at fair. This some of this stuff is just them talking about it. Gunfight at fair. Drowning. Killed by bull at fair. That's the me medicine dude as uh, he's trying to sell some medicine whatever to Anna and Albert. The bull runs through and then stabs the medicine dude with his horns and then he's stuck on the the bull. Pretty funny. Dry helmet, yeah. That's about the whole movie too. Um, uh, the sheriff gets killed by the prisoner at sh supper time. Um, as, uh, another one was uh, Anna's husband's coming in. Uh, he's questioning everybody and then he shoots uh, one of the dudes he's questioning. The dude's like, I don't know. What's the next one? Burned at the stake by Indians. That's... Uh, Oh, I forgot the dude's name. Anna's boyfriend, dude. Albert. That's right. Albert was going to get burned by the Indians because he's one of the assholes that uh, took the Indians' land. And that's exactly what they say. Since you're an asshole, I'm going to burn you. So, Indians burn white people. Blah, 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 blah. Drugs, famine, snake, venom, and uh, bullet. That was from Albert killing uh, Anna's husband and shot a carny at his game at the very end of the movie. You know those guns shooting boom, 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 western type things, they even had it in Back to the Future. And then the carny dude's like, who wants to take a shot next? So this black dude walks up and I'll take a shot, boom, dead is the carny. So there's that. I actually really like the movie, It's it was really entertaining for what it is. It's kind of, I, I kind of put it along the same lines as like the uh, the parody scary movies that are kind of making fun of uh, uh, the, the screen movies. I, I couldn't think of the name there for a second. And then there's like the, yeah, scary movies, that type of line of movies and kind of like Jackass too. I don't know. I don't have any other movies to compare it to. So there you go. Oh no, I think it's a enjoyable movie. If young children are watching it, make sure you cover their eyes, cover their ears during the like swearing and then Daisy and the asshole. Daisy and an asshole. That is classic. But other than that, sit back, enjoy yourself, and let me know what you think down below. Thank you guys for watching. I got more of these reviews and everything coming up really soon. As you may have known or if you're just now finding out, my reviews are on Friday, my news articles are on Monday, and vlogs are on Wednesday. I will periodically upload different types of videos on my off days. That's if I have something, but this is the schedule I'm giving you right now. So tell me what you think below. Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you next time. Hey guys, um, maybe I should do something about...
really die. Uh, uh. That's kind of cool in itself, too. Where's my notes at? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Hey, okay, guys. I wanted to talk about uh, a million ways to die in the West. Call it a review. Whatever you want to call it. I, I guess we No fucking light. There we go. I think that's better. What's up, everyone? Just got done watching the movie A Million Ways to Die in the West. Hilarious movie. If you haven't watched it, I very, 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 very. Fuck. I really recommend you watching it 